Up next, I'm going to give you my top five green fragrances. One of my favorite fragrance categories, green fragrances that evoke a smell or a feeling of green. To me, that's earth, that's plants, it's life-giving, it's fresh, it's energetic. I love these fragrances and I'm gonna give you my top five. Stay tuned, coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose and here in my little perfume laboratory, also known as my home office, second bedroom here in the house. Um, anyways, hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, I would humbly ask that you do so. I appreciate all the support. And today's um, video is going to be my top five green fragrances. And because it was very hard for me to come up with a top five, I actually have two honorable mentions. So I guess technically, technically this is gonna be a top seven. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I like to keep my list to top five rather than top 10, because I'll be honest with you, and I hope you guys appreciate that. And, and it's because I find when I watch top 10 videos, they get lost on me. I get there's so many to think about that it's difficult. So for me in my videos, most of the time, I still do some top 10s every once in a while, but really most of the time I, I try to keep it to top five. So it's something you can really kind of focus on and, and you know, I can spend a little bit more time talking about the fragrances. All right, let's get right into this. Uh, this is, you know, the latest fragrance came out in the last year from Hermes and this is H24. Um, this is, you know, it's got this metallic green note to it. The, the juice is kind of like a light, it's hard to tell, but it's like a light green. Um, it's got clary sage, it's got metallic notes. Um, not necessarily any specific green notes that shout out, hey, this is a green fragrance, but man, does it smell green. And it's an eau de toilette, so this is perfect, very versatile, I can use it. I use it a lot before I go to the gym in the morning. It gets, lasts about four hours on my skin, which I did a video recently about this. I like, actually, fragrances that only last maybe four hours or so because then I get to put on another one. And to me, I need that versatility in my fragrance collection. So very good metallic green, light, fresh fragrance. Um, the only, this is the only designer fragrance on my list, but I do like it. I know it's kind of polarizing. I know not everyone loves this fragrance, but I like it. So again, to each their own. All right, coming in then, second honorable mention, which I guess would be technically number six. And this is Devil in Disguise from Mark Buxton, the independent perfumer. He's kind of an avant-garde. I don't know if you guys know him. He's a little bit under the radar, but I picked this fragrance up a couple years ago at Osme Perfumery, and this is just a ginger bomb. You can see the juice is kind of very yellowish. Take a look at that. Very, But this is a pure, if you like ginger, I happen to love ginger. It's one of my favorite notes. Um, it gives you that earthy, green, again, energetic, liveliness. When I put it on, it always gives me an extra like step or an extra bounce, I'm sorry, in my step. So really enjoy this one. It's an under the radar fragrance. Not sure where you can necessarily get it anymore. Uh, do any of you have this one or any others by Mark Buxton? Let me know. Um, and I do have another one, which is a rose fragrance called a Day in My Life, which I really like also, a beautiful rose fragrance. All right, let's get now right in this, top five. Top five, we're coming in with Therapia by Aroma. You guys have seen me talk about Therapia. Uh, this is Leaves. <laughs> Can you get more green than that? This, I mean, it's just a beautiful, light, fresh, perfect for fall or springtime or even summer. I wear it during the, the, the winter because of course this is Miami and I can wear it in the winter. It's so green. I mean, leaves is the perfect name for it. I don't even know what the notes are in this, but Irene, who is the perfumer and owner of the brand, you've seen me talk a lot about her. She's incredible. She's actually helping me. She's a, a perfumer that trained in Grasse, France, the of course perfume capital of the world. Um, and she's originally from Paris. She's lived in Miami for about 10 years now, has her own store, actually two stores and a couple of locations here in Miami. Fragrances, you can't beat the price. It's like 15 bucks, I think, for this 30 ml bottle. Um, it's just, 
and it's artisan. This is independent artisan perfumery, which is so hard to find nowadays. So I love leaves. Again, this is one I pick up when I wanna to go to the gym or I wanna go run some quick errands, maybe before I shower in the morning and before I put on my you know, scent of the day. This is just a wonderful fragrance to pick up. Let's go to number four. And this is from the French house diptyque, Philosicos. Philosicos, again, this is, uh, an, this is the EDT. They do have an EDP version. I prefer the EDT because for me, green fragrances are one fragrances that typically, again, are not gonna necessarily be all day fragrances. I like them for a short burst of energy. They pick me up, they, they're effervescent sometimes. This is the quintessential fig fragrance. If you like fig, there probably is no better fig fragrance, I would argue, out there on the market. It's legendary, it's been around for a long, to over 10 years. Again, they do have an EDP, I like it, but for me, the EDT is the best because I get about four or five hours of wearing on this. And, you know, it's pretty cool look at the back. You can see they have like a, kind of trees in the back. Um, I really like Diptyque, they're a great house and I'm getting to know them more and more. All right, let's go to this, right? Number three, one of my newer fragrances, Oud for Happiness from, of course, Initio. Um, and let me just show you the name so you can kind of see the top. For those of you who aren't aware of this one, I think most of you are. Well, it's not focusing, there we go. All right, so what is, what is it about this one? This one is a little bit atypical from the rest of these. The others are kind of more bright, effervescent. This is more chill, this is more hypnotic. This is very soothing. The others energize me, this soothes me. I like putting this one on at the end of the day, long day of work, I come home, or if I'm working from home and it's just been a stressful day, this has, for those of you who don't know, actually cannabis oil in the fragrance. They don't list it as a note, but when, I, when this fragrance was released, I talked to the marketing department, I talked to one of the owners of the house, and um, you know, that's you know, one of the, for one of the, I guess, elements they were going for to make it kind of hypnotic. So I love this fragrance. I, I think I told a story the other day, I was wearing this the other day and someone actually thought I was wearing Creed Aventus. Um, but it's just a wonderful, soothing, beautiful fragrance. It's, again, got this green smell, but it's more of a soothing green smell, not an energetic green smell. And that cannabis is just, again, it's not gonna get you high for those of you worried. It's not, it doesn't have THC in it. It's not gonna do anything like that. This is more like the cannabis oil that you could you know, buy medicinally. All right, let's go to number two. Number two, one of my favorite fragrances in the last year and a half from Peccato Original. This is Mastro del Cuore. Master of the heart is the translation in Italian. And by the way, for those of you who don't know, Peccato Original means original sin. I love the story behind this house. Sylvia Monti is the owner, the perfumer. She's a pharmacist by trade. And so she knows how to create alchemy and concoctions. And she tells a story with each of her fragrances that's so amazing. But this baby is, got so many green elements. It's got chai tea, it's got mate, it's got ginger, it's got cedar in here. It, I'm actually wearing this today, by the way. This is actually my scent of the day. I wore it this morning, you know why? Because I just had the booster shot, the third uh, vaccine shot yesterday. And today, you know, after each shot, I get a little, you know, I don't feel so great like the day after, a little tired, a little body ache, and I needed something to pick me up, to give me energy. And this is a fragrance that always does it. So when I put this on this morning, it was specifically because I wanted that energy and that green liveliness that Mastro Del Cori delivers. So that's my number two choice. My number one choice, my number one, I just love this one. One of my favorite fragrances of all time. And this is Mandala. Mandala, of course, from Mosque Milano. Uh, just such, <sighs> oof. again, could have easily worn this one. I was debating this morning when I needed that pick me up to whether I was gonna wear Mastro del Cuore or Mandala. I ended up going with Mastro del Cuore, but Mandala, because I wore this the other day, actually the reason why I didn't. Um, this is to me the quintessential green fragrance. I mean, even the juice is got, you can see 
it may look a little bit yellow on the camera there, but it's really more kind of a dark or like a yellowish green. It's this just boost of energy. It's like spraying on caffeine or, you know, Coca-Cola or something that gives you a pick me up. It's just, it's like literally like spraying on an espresso. It just boom, picks me up. And it is a beautiful ginger incense fragrance. To me, it doesn't get much better. The true mastery in this is how they blended that ginger and that incense so well. It's just so smooth and delicious. Love it, love it. So there you have it, my top five, although it ended up being seven, two honorable mentions, green fragrances. Hope you found it useful. Let me know what you guys like. Let me know in the comments. I always love your comments, what your favorite green fragrances are and um, you know what you use green fragrances for. Like I said, typically I use them for energy, but some of them like Oud for Happiness, I use for more calming and soothing. Thanks again for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfume.